Hey, baby. Hello. So, uh, what you doing? Time to prune the blueberries. And tell us a little bit about um, the kind of blueberries that you have. Well, I've got several varieties. Uh, what have we got? Maybe Still counting. 13 or 14? Maybe more than that. Wow, I've got too many. 13 or 14 bushes? Yeah. Uh, they put out a lot of blueberries too. So we've got, um, just want to kind of come in and open them up a little bit. Uh, main thing is I don't want too much stuff right here in the center because it grows on top of each other and they, uh, the leaves don't dry out fast enough like that. They stay wet. Uh, we had mummy berry one year and it wiped out my whole crop, so I have to be very careful about that. Um, make sure that, because uh, that's cold temperature and wet leaves is what that really thrives in. So that, and if you prune them, uh, you cut some of the, uh, all these buds off, it gives it, um, I guess uh, you get fatter berries maybe, uh, better quality instead of just a whole lot of little small ones. but. I don't have a green thumb. Uh, I have been somewhat successful at this, but um, there's plenty of stuff on YouTube to find out how to do this properly. Okay, well, I have to say, he's got a greener thumb than I do. So. That may be true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not saying a lot, because I don't have a really very green thumb at all. But uh, I will say, I mean, these, we get a lot of blueberries every year. I mean, our family wants them, our neighbors want them. And they're fantastic and they're great for you. And so it's a, it's also a fun thing that we yeah, do we here. Get, I guess probably, I think uh, we let our neighbor pick one year and she got like like 30 gallons or something. Something uh, crazy. <laughs> after we had already gotten, we usually get about uh, 20 Yeah, but, 20 but we gallons? keep probably 12 to 15 gallons every year for ourselves. The rest we just give away. Um, but literally you know i guess maybe these plants would probably make 50 gallons in a year um so it's a lot of blueberries it's good stuff so we're gonna do a little pruning yep. you know they always like to say pruned if you do and pruned if you don't so you might as well prune <laughs> all right a little bit more of us working yay I was born. 
Okay, so behind the blueberries that you just saw Bill pruning, behind me is some muscadines. And so for those of you who don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, a big grape. Really good, really yummy, and they're different um, varieties of them. So anyway, we like those, both of us. Bill probably even just a little bit more than me. So one day Bill goes to the dentist and he's getting his checkup, his regular checkup, and he says, you know, I don't understand, but my teeth seem to be getting, I don't know, kind of discolored. What's, what's going on? Dennis looked at his mouth and he you know, asked him some questions and he says, well, let me just, looks a little bit blue. Let me ask you, <laughs> are, are you eating any berries? And he's like, well, actually, yeah, uh, I've been eating muscadines. We, um, we have them on our land and we really enjoy them when they're in season and I've been enjoying them. And the dentist started laughing. He says, well, that's, that's your problem. <laughs> and so the remedy was simple. He just said, listen, you can eat as many as you want, but just make sure you brush your teeth right after you eat. It would help eliminate some of that staining. So who knew? But muscadines are awesome. And we have them. And that's what you see behind me. Some of these uh, looks like little twigs, but this is actually where they bud. Oh.